In this video, we're going to show you how to upload a Word document and a Microsoft PowerPoint document so that you're able to edit them in Google Drive. So I have a Word document there, an old homework, and a PowerPoint, um, which is actually quite a big PowerPoint, um, which was on web design. All right. So the first thing we need to do is to go into Google Drive. So make sure you're logged into your account. And if you go into Google Drive, and my drive is empty, I don't have anything in there just now. So the easiest thing to do is just to click on your file. So if I click on my PowerPoint here and I drag it in, and you'll see the bit at the bottom comes up saying drop files to upload them. So if I drop that in, and it'll start uploading that onto my Google Drive. Now this is quite a big PowerPoint, and it'll just depend on the speed of your school network, how quickly that uploads. So I'm just gonna go back here again and drop, drag the homework document and drop that in as well. That's quite a small document, so it should be pretty quick, like that one there. So the PowerPoint's finished as well, so that should appear, and I've got my homework. So you can kind of see the P is a PowerPoint file, and the W is a Word document. So let's convert the Word document first, okay? So if I double click on it, this is you in a preview mode. So you're able to see the document, but you're not able to type anything on it. So I don't have a cursor that lets me type anything on that document. All right, and I'll show you the exact same with a PowerPoint. I click on it. This is me in this preview mode. I'm not able to make any edits to it. Okay, so Google Drive will let you preview any document. And if you want to be able to edit it, you need to be able to convert it to either a Google slide or a Google Doc. So let's start with the Word document. All right, so if I'm in this preview mode, then I need to click on that one up at the top saying open with Google Docs. And what it's doing there is it's trying to read that file and convert it into a Google Doc and it's done a very good job all right so it's the exact same and this will save you from having to recreate your worksheets or recreate any of the work that you've done for PowerPoints and so on um, and if I go back to my Google Drive what you'll notice is now it has created the Google Doc as a separate file so if you don't need this one anymore you can actually get rid of it so your Word document and um, you can click the delete key and you still have um, your your homework in Google Docs format. If you want to be able to download this as a Word document, you can always go to File and Download as a Word document. You still got that possible possibility if you would like that. Um, but you've converted it. You're able now to type in answers, All right? And if we have a quick look at how to do this with the PowerPoint, so again, I'm in the preview mode, and then if I go open with Google Slides. So this is quite a big PowerPoint, it's probably about 20 slides or so. So it takes slightly longer for it to convert. Now, obviously, the more complex the Word document or the more complex the PowerPoint, it might skew things slightly. But in my experience, it does a very, very good job at um, converting them and keeping everything the way that it's supposed to look. So as this one comes on, um, you will notice it looks the exact same as what the, the PowerPoint file would look like. I'm allowed to click on images. Uh, I can edit things. You can even go on, add transitions and stuff and change the theme if you want to. But it does a very, very good job at converting um, Google Docs, uh, sorry, a Word document and a PowerPoint into a Google Doc or a Google Slide. So again, if you want to download that back onto your computer as a Microsoft PowerPoint file, you can um, just by going to File, Download As. And if we go back to your Google Drive again, um, you will see that we have now got the Google Slides icon there. So that's the one that you can edit. And this one was a PowerPoint file. So if you want, you can get rid of that one as well. So from this, what we had here was a Word document and a PowerPoint document. We've uploaded them to Google Drive and converted them. And it means now that you can edit them in the cloud. You can share them with pupils and they're able to edit them as well. So hopefully, um, that kind of crushes the myth that you can't use um, Word documents within Google Drive. You can, you just need to convert them first.